So, perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much the dress code. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. The action has all... Has a pop! Goal! Denmark! Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Denmark take the early advantage. Gets into a dangerous position. Ah, oh, he's given it away. Oh, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Tulsen. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Delaney. Paulson. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real... Oh, shooting chance! Disappearing out of sight. Denmark take a two-goal lead and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. That's been one straight back. Hoists it forward. Ericsson. And the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Do I really need to tell you, Peter, that he has to do better, especially from there? to get it forward quickly uh, the ball needed to be better there it's a wasted chance Hoiberg
Delaney tries to switch the play. Out towards the flank. Good clearance and very necessary. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Some first half thoughts? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Denmark ahead 2 0, and they are looking good. Action is back on the way. Poulsen finds himself eased off the ball. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out muscled. Poulsen. He's picked him out. It's one! Oh, well played. He needed to get that right. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. It's pretty clear that he's being singled out. Well, he'll be seen as the number one enemy because of his creative ability. And the weighted pass. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Ericsson and the finish good try the outcome could so easily have been different Poulsen certainly could have and should have made more of that there is some activity down on the touchline it seems there's going to be a change well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Poulsen. And it's Ericsson. He'll have a go. Oh, the ball's come loose. Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Time for changes on both sides, actually. And now they can launch a counter. Good spell of possession, this, but very little to show for it. And it's played forward. Ericsson. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. It's being played forward. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. 
Lays it out to the flank. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. So they bask in their win. A genuinely professional performance and a result which is well deserved. So Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Yeah, we knew there was a sizable gap in the quality.